this is a 2008 BMW 528i. Uh, this is the different than the 04 to 07 BMW E60 models. Uh, this is the 08 through 2010 528 uh, V6 3.0. And I had a problem with it with the check engine light coming on. So the problem that I noticed with my car was that at idle it would be running a little rough and at cold start it would be a little rough as well. So this right here is the service report from the BMW dealership. The price right here, $124.19, was not too bad. It was actually a little bit cheaper than a couple uh, places that I called that specialized in imports and they actually were looking to charge me around $200 for the diagnostic. And this is nice, they gave you a little packet here showing you everything about your car. So the first thing they did was the multi-point inspection. The two things they found was the cabin filter and the engine air filter, which I replaced myself, and it was a little cheaper than at the BMW dealership. So this right here is what was wrong with the car, what was causing the check engine light on. So this right here is the camshaft sensor. This is exactly what it looks like for this car. This is the two solenoids that you'll need to replace. Um, this is not what they look like. It is similar, however, not exactly the ones for this car. If you go on eBay and type in 2008 or 9 or 10 uh, BMW 528i uh, cam solenoid or vano solenoid, it'll pull up exactly what you need. Definitely recommend buying both of these. Uh, there's only one this. So this right here was uh, around 60 or $70 I believe I paid. For the solenoid, each individual one was 70 or $80. So you know, for both of them ran me one, uh, between 140 or 160 And not hard replacement at all. Once I replaced both of them, I did notice that there was a difference in how the car was idling. However, the check engine light did not turn off right away. After driving it for a little bit, I would say 40 or 50 miles. I don't know exactly how long I drove it for. The check engine light went off on its own. I did not use the OBD reader to reset it. So we got the engine bay right here. And I'm going to show you guys where the cam solenoids and the camshaft sensor is. I already have the uh, cover already loosened off, so I can show you a little bit better. Okay, so the these right here are the two Vanos cam solenoids. Um, they're just held on, one of them is held on by this 10 millimeter bolt, and the other bolt, let's see, a little bit better, maybe right up there. Not a whole lot of space in this, everything's pretty tight, but I used a quarter inch ratchet to get in there in my hand, I mean it's, you can see it's real tight, but I was able to get that off. The clip right here, you push onto that, hold it down, and then pull, and it'll come right off, so that's pretty easy. I would also just have a shop rag or a microfiber or whatever rag towel. Just put it right here, because um, a little bit of oil does come out, not a whole lot. I just had like, a little bit dripping, nothing serious though. Um, so that's, these are the two Vanos cam solenoids right there. See that? Okay, and this right here is the camshaft position sensor, just held on by this bolt right here. Also use a quarter inch ratchet. And I'm not sure what size uh, I used to get this off, but it's real small. You could, I believe it was six millimeters or seven millimeter. Got it right off. Um, and then for the clip here, I just used the small flathead and was able to lift it up a little bit and just pull down, and you get that clip off right there.